What's up with it, man? It's Duckman fucking with the Rap Shack. So for those who don't know, who is Duckman? Man, Duckman is an artist out of East Anchorage, Alaska. Unheard of territory to this music shit. But they gonna find out real soon. Hell yeah. yeah. How did you get into music? Being from like Alaska and you know, I'm from Cali, so that's kind of like on a different part of, you know, the coast. Shit, I got into music um, early, man. I started making beats. And I kind of just like knew how I wanted somebody to come rapping on the beat. So I started rapping. And I was probably like 15, 16 years old. Oh, yeah. And I ain't stopped since. You still produce at all? Nah, I ain't uh, made no beats in a long time. The rapping's been good then. Yeah, rapping's been lovely for me. Oh, yeah. Um, I just dropped an a album called Back to the East. I dropped it last year on House Arrest, so I didn't get to push it like I wanted to. But I got a new project coming out. It's called The Slim Show, dedicated to my brother that passed away. Um, it's already done. I'm just waiting. I got hella shit lined up. I'm just trying to find the right time to drop it. I got Rokang out of okay. Detroit. I got um, I got my man Najee on that motherfucker. Kerry Stacks. I got um, Black Youngster on there. I got... Um, Man, I got a couple more, man. A couple more yeah. artists. Out of uh, Alaska. Untamed Kid, King Coop. Okay. Yeah. What would you say uh, has been like your biggest uh, hit so far? In the city, I would say Drill. I got a song called Drill that I put out in 2015. That shit still go crazy. I got to do that shit every show. Yeah. In Anchorage, it's like a hometown classic, but then when I come to Seattle, my main song I, I do out here is the song I got with Filthy, it's called Tapped In, mm -hmm. and then, like, when I go to Fairbanks, I probably do, like, it's probably uh, With The Shit or Dinner Time, you know, it just depends on where I'm doing the show at. How did uh, you come into your name, Duckman? Um... Well, back in the day, it was probably like 04, 05. You know, we was hustling. And we used to tell the judge, all, we was all short motherfuckers. So the judge used to call us shorty. We used to call us all shorty. Like, you come with it, they calling you shorty, shorty, shorty. So, like, when I got a little bit older and shit, it was just like, yo, what's your name? I didn't want to tell him my real name, you feel me? So I just said, duck. And it just kind of stuck. I try to make rap names up, and they never stuck. Only stuck <laughs> just stuck. So I just ran with that shit. You feel me? Quack. Now they call me Quack. Quack. You feel me? Yeah. That's tight. Uh, what are some of the producers you worked with on the last project or the upcoming project? Um, I wrote. I work with D Rose on the beat. I work with um, Raw Beats. Um, I work with Mario. Um, who else I got on there? Uh, uh, Gunna, um, hmm. um, fuck, I can't remember this nigga's name, he's filthy too, this is cold, yeah, I can't remember the young nigga's name, but I got some, I got some shit, I make different type of music, like, when motherfuckers be hearing me, it's kind of like I got my own lane, yeah. but I'm telling the same story. But I'm just telling it from another part of the world. Anchorage, Alaska, you never think. Yeah. It was a ghetto out there, you feel me? You never think it was niggas like me out there. Yeah. But we out there, you feel me? So I'm just telling my story. If there's uh, one thing you could tell, like, let's just say, like, the audience, not the rappers, but the audience, what would you tell them about, like, Alaska? Um, I would tell them that it ain't everything you think it is. You look on the news or the TV, you see the ice road trucker shit, you see all that? Yeah, yeah. But where I'm from, it ain't none of that. Mountains and all that shit, it ain't none of that shit where I'm at, you feel me? It's, it's all flat. It's all flat uh -huh. buildings. We got like we got neighborhoods that got houses, but a lot uh -huh. of our neighborhoods are apartment buildings. So uh -huh. it's like it'll be a house and then it'll be an apartment building, apartment building, a trailer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just, it, you feel me? Everyone lives kind of on top of each other. And then you got, it's like a big gumbo pot of everybody from 
the the lower forty eights just up there. A lot of motherfuckers go to Alaska on the run. You feel me? Yeah. So then you might have a nigga, some niggas from New Orleans. You might have some niggas from Mississippi or New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they all out there together, and it's money out there. You feel me? Okay. That's really why we go. Out. We gotta take that trip, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was what is the like the hardest part being from Alaska and then expanding out to like the other parts, like let's say like the South. The, the west, the north, the east. Well, I, I mean, it used to be hard, but the way music is right now, it, it's like it don't matter where you're from because yeah. you got motherfuckers like Rich the Kid. He from New York, yeah. but he sound like a Atlanta, Atlanta nigga. For real. Feel me? You got niggas like uh, J. Cole. He's from North Carolina. That's like the south, you feel me? Yeah. So it's just like if you dope, you dope. That's what I think. But being in Alaska, nobody's coming out there to look for no talent. So when I come out here, motherfuckers be like, okay, he's dope, you feel me? Where, oh, you from Alaska, what, you feel me? So they just be like, okay, he got his own sound, he got his own style, and he's from Alaska. We ain't never heard of nobody from yeah. Alaska, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But every time I come out and fuck with niggas in the States, I get good reviews. We make good music, you know what I'm saying? And I'm solid, you feel me? So that that's gonna get you, that's gonna get you far anywhere you at. You feel me? It's gonna move that a lot faster. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe your sound? Man, I say my shit's like raw. It's like raw, and it's turned. But I I I make music off emotion, so I could listen to songs and tell where I was at in my life. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like the Slim Show is really dedicated to my bro. So when I started making it, it was just like a bunch of sad ass songs. Yeah. Then I started making, I kept going, and I was like, man, maybe I should break this shit up and make two albums, you feel me? Because yeah, nowadays motherfuckers is putting seven, eight songs on an album. Yeah. You know, I'm used to putting like 15, 16 on that motherfucker. Yeah, so. EP's a new album. Yeah, EP's <laughs> a new album. So I was like, damn, I can really break this up in two, and I can do that one dedicated to my partner. Because I'm I'm really making that album for my, me and my niggas, like, you feel me? Yeah. That's really who I genuinely started making music for, my niggas. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. then, shit, everybody's the same everywhere, so everybody could feel it. Yeah. You feel me? They could relate to that shit. Yeah. Everybody fucks with the music. Yeah. All right. Um, what would you say, who's, like, your go-to, dude, like, when you make your music? Like, who do you go to first, like, send a song? Um, my partner, Bub. We got the Dropbox. Everybody got my code to my Dropbox. So it's like if I make a song, I'm putting it on Dropbox that same night. And then, you know, my nigga called me like, yeah, I heard that. You know, you heard that one. Yeah, I heard that one. That shit's hard. That other one's hard. Woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But when I go to pick out my songs from my album, I usually have all my niggas in there. Because, you know, the album that I put out, Back to the East, me and my niggas was slapping that whole shit like six months prior to it coming out. I already had the whole thing memorized down there. Yeah, so when it came <laughs> out, we was already tired of it. You feel me? We already slapping the Slim Show. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, Bub. Bub's the, my main, the ears, Bub and my man Buddha. Okay. And my two, my two other ears that I use, you feel me? What would you say, uh... The sound you're aiming for now, like where are you trying to move to? I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to just keep my audience. I ain't really trying to switch it up. Like, yeah. I know who fuck with my shit, so I'm just gonna keep making music for them. Yeah. You know, I might gravitate toward the ladies and make some more female songs, mm -hmm. what I probably need to do. But I know the females be slapping the raw gritty shit. You feel me? That yeah, don't, they do. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about the love songs. They want to slap the dinner yeah. time the, with the shit, the tapped in. You it's know what I'm saying? Man. So I just stick to the formula, man. Shit been working. Uh, uh, baddest bitch in the game. Baddest bitch in the game. Ooh. Who's the baddest bitch in the game? That's a good one. <laughs> What you mean, just like bad or rapper? Nah, 
bitches. Bad. It could be an yeah. IG model, could be an actor. Or I rapper. know a lot. I like Stephanie Santiago, man. I like you too. So if you like, it, you feel me? No. <laughs> she bad, nigga. I was in the motherfucking. You feel me? I did time before, so I was a straight stunting magazine. You feel me? Get the straight I issue. All, I got out and followed <laughs> all them bitches. You feel me? <laughs> now Stephanie Santiago. Um, uh, not Lyrical Lord, but Miracle Watts. She Miracle bad as Watts. fuck. And to Bernice, too. Who that? I don't know. Who you know Bernice? Uh uh. She bad as fuck. I Look at her. I'm about to get her IG. She, like, <laughs> she an old head. She like 38, but she killing bitches, though. Crazy. Uh, let's see. I see you got a lot of jewelry on. You want to tell me about the pieces, uh, what, what it means to you, your style? All that, bro. I see the quack. Shit, I got the quack because they call me Duck Man, so that just, you know, my niggas call me quack, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I got the Duck Man, this is my, my little shit that you see on all my albums and shit, you feel me? Yeah. And, uh, but my bitch bought me this ring for my birthday. Put it up? Oh, that shit go crazy. Yeah. I don't know, you know, you gotta have your tools, man. If you wanna do this rap shit, like my mm -hmm. man Mac Dre used to say, you gotta have the tools, you feel me? Yeah. This would attract them. I did a show last night, nigga. I was looking like when the lights hit, I was looking good. <laughs> Everything. Queen Duck. Oh, God. Or Screws McDuck. However, I'm feeling. The money, or we on the bullshit. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. When I got to high school, I was like, kind of like jumping into the streets and shit. So when I did do my work and shit, I was. I made good grades when I did go to school. But I fuck around and got caught up in the gang activity and shit. Fuck around, got expelled, got shot. So I didn't finish high school. I graduated in jail, you feel me? Yeah. But stay in school for sure. Good go. <laughs> um, if you had like advice for other artists trying to pursue like just the dream of moving, cause you're doing shows, you release albums, you got big features. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice would you would you give to aspiring artists? I would tell them to just believe in yourself and stay focused and don't ever stop because a lot could change in six months if you stay dedicated to this shit. A lot could change in a year, you know what I'm saying? Like last year, what? Come on, last year I was just getting out of the halfway house. I had went back to jail. I was getting out of the halfway house. I was down for like six months. And I had this album that I just knew was a great piece of work. Like, it's a dope ass album, Back to the East, available everywhere. Go grab that shit. But I didn't put, I couldn't push it because, you know, I was fucking up. If, and right when I got out, I just told myself, man, I'm just gonna stay down, stay dedicated. And now, shit, I got it. Show set up. I'm finna go on tour. You feel me? It's moving. Like this shit all happened in a year. So if you want to do this music shit, you gotta take it serious. Invest in yourself. Don't be scared to spend no money on yourself. Yeah. And like do some research on where you spend your money, cause you can spend hundreds of thousand dollars and spend it in the wrong spot and be stagnant, and not get nowhere. Yeah. Or you could spend, you know. 20,000 yeah. and get further, you feel me? Real further. So yeah, stay dedicated, stay on your shit, nigga, this shit will happen. I got the album, I got the Slim Show dropping, you feel me? Um, I got the Bag Boy compilation dropping with all my artists, you feel me? Um, King Cool, Untamed Kids, Splash the God. Uh, me and my man Najee the Shooter, we about to drop an EP. Me and Carrie finna drop one too. Um, I got a video I just shot with Black Youngster. It's a fucking movie. Yeah. I'm trying to put this shit on BT for real. You got it done already? It's already done. I gotta check it out, man. It's fucking <laughs> dope. But then um, I, I fuck with him, so he about to take me on tour with him. I'm finna go on tour with him on the 1st of November. That's big. We finna be gone for 21 days. Yeah. I'm finna touch the whole nation right now. And then when I come back, I was probably gonna drop my album or I might drop it on the road. One or two, yeah. you feel me? And that's pretty much it right now. Stay in the studio, I stay working. So right. don't be surprised if you see a new video from the Quack Man like ASAP, you feel me?